Seattle was playing from behind, so of course they'll have less rushing. Russell Wilson threw the ball 31 times. Aaron Rodgers threw it 27 times. This is what coaching looks like, people. Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, 9 yards in attempt. Russell Wilson, 8.9 attempt. This is what football looks like. The Seattle Seahawks, 110 yards rushing. Green Bay Packers, 109 yards rushing. 28 to 23. This is what good, well-coached football looks like. I'm not here to be ball-washing Aaron, Aaron Rodgers, because I'm not going to do that. Uh, it's enough people on TV doing that shit. I don't know why the people at LSU uh, is uh, why people at LSU is the best college football team ever. You better go watch the 1999 Brass Bowl, 153 points again. Shout out to Chuck, man. Boy, Chuck, you. We talked about that early, and everybody who, who knows anything about football is in total agreement with you. Big up to my man. But yeah, this is what football should look like. Hey, by the way, for those who are listening to my show on a weekly basis. I suggest you go back to around August 16th, 17th. As a matter of fact, let me, I'll tell you what day to go back to. Go back to August. Uh, go back to August around the 3rd, August 12th, or somewhere around in that area, and listen to my show, because I told y'all, and I ain't going to do a whole lot of patting myself on the back. I ain't going to break my arm patting myself on the back, but I told y'all, this would be the year of the running game. The running game will return. If you don't believe me, team with the best record in the National Football League, Baltimore Ravens, ran the football. The Buffalo Bills ran the football. The Patriots, they played the Rudys in that division, but they still were able to run the football. The last time the Patriots looked good is when Bill Belichick used the hell out of Sonny Michelle. This is, this is checkers. Not chess. This is checkers, not chess. Keep listening to these people. Keep listening to these people and falling for the banana in the tailpipe. It's a passing league. It's a passing league. This is gonna be 30 degrees outside. Ain't nobody running real fast when it's 30. You could be a you uh, he run a 4140. You can run a 3140. When it's 30 degrees, your ass running a 4840. And you're not trying to get tackled. That's why I will always be a running situation. San Francisco, Minnesota, it's going to be cold at either one of them. You ain't throwing it nowhere. You can love the hell out of Joe Montana if you want, but guess why he used to win? Wendell Tyler, then Roger Craig, then my man Ricky Watts. Walter Payton and the, and the, uh, and the Bass, Joe Morris and the, uh, 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 the Giants, Kelly, Calvin Bryant and Washington, with the Redskins, I could go on and on and on and on. And hey, look, let's go to some of those teams that, ooh, they used to kick it. They used to kill it back in the day. Like the Dolphins. Man, Marino was cold. No running back. Oh, Dan Fouts was the shit. No running back. That's why they never played. Warm Moon, no better deep ball throw in the history of the league. No running back. It's a reoccurring theme. Now, look at teams now. Didn't run the hell out of my man Zeke Elliott, Cowboys at the crib. Didn't run the man shit out of Saquon Barkley, Giants at the crib. Philadelphia Eagles, they run it back, they at the crib. Todd Gurley won right, the Rams at the crib. It's a reoccurring thing, but y'all want, look, I'm gonna tell y'all the secret to the ooze when it comes to this, y'all. The reason they telling you this, the running game, it's a running game, it's a running game, it's a running game, it's because they make money off fantasy football. If you don't understand what I'm saying, I'm going to break it down to you. Fantasy football gets your uncle, cousin, niece, retarded nephew, or whoever watching football because they're playing fantasy. Now they're sitting their ass in front of football. They're going to Yahoo Sports. They're going to all of these venues in which you can participate in fantasy sports. The NFL gets revenue from that. And when they get revenue from that, they put more money in their pocket. That's why they keep saying pass, pass, pass. Because they keep making money off fantasy football because you get the most points off passes. Bass, they didn't run the ball. Lions, don't run the ball. But all of a sudden, the Green Bay Packers go from the 28th rushing uh, team to the 15th rushing team. And lo and behold, they end not only in the playoffs, they in the championship game. Everybody says Seattle ain't going to be shit. They ran the hell out of the ball with Carson and that rookie. They in the fence. It's simple, y'all. It is simple. If you run the football, look, 
the Kansas City Chiefs are an unstoppable offense. But when Williams and that other dude was gone, they was looking real shaky. That is on. Shady McCoy is on. Yeah, he playing. He, he got about, he might have a game and a half left in him, but they're going to run that game up out of him. Why, why is Phillip Rivers hitting them wide open linebackers and DBs? Because they had Melvin Gordon watching all season. People, that's not all for the nonsense. Seattle, no running backs. Uh, and Metcalf ran a 4-5 at, at, uh, at, at the wide receiver position. Hey, hey, Chuck, and that's why they ass at home. No running back. No, if you don't run the football, your ass ain't winning in football. It's a bunch of these coaches. Like Bill O'Brien, I said he need to be fired, but he's just, all he really is is a January coach. If some of these dudes out here, they January coaches, and some of my February coaches. And what I mean by that, if you're a January coach, yeah, I get you to the playoffs, but I ain't getting you no further. If you're a February coach, I'm gonna get you to the Super Bowl. In the right situation, I'm gonna get you to the Super Bowl. Uh 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 Harbaugh, February coach. Bella Chief, February coach. Uh uh Doug Peterson, February coach. Looks like the Green Bay Packers got a February coach. Sean Payton, he a February coach, but Drew Brees is freaking the game. Don't nobody wanna talk about that though. Uh, we want to talk about LaShawn Jackson. We got the way to beat LaShawn Jackson. What, what is it? How you beat Drew Brees? Get his, get his ass to the playoffs? Because his ass keep choking too. Y'all keep talking about LaShawn ain't getting it done. Drew Brees' ass ain't done, done shit in 10 years. He ain't done a damn thing in 10 years. But, uh, but we got the way to beat uh, uh, LaShawn Jackson. I mean, L Lamar Jackson. You know how you beat Drew Brees? Get his, give his ass the ball. Because he's going to give it right back to wrong color, Drew. Wrong color. See, man, this is why this is why I was telling the D-Great. See, they want to big up. See, a lot of brothers be mad at Trevor Lawrence for the wrong reasons. You mad at Trevor Lawrence because they hot because uh, 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 Kurt Hurd Street and that old bald-headed ass Paul Feinbaum and the mother and Dan uh, Orlowski or bust ass. They be big up at him and like the homie. Uh, Ryan Clark and like Demarcus Spears said this morning, he ain't got it. And the, hey, I get it, D. Great. A lot of people will hate on him because he's white. I'm one of them people, damn near, man. I do that. I ain't gonna lie, man. I hate on him because he's white because you done heard your brothers get hated on so long. So when I see a white boy get too much prop, if I see any flaw, I'm gonna put the spotlight on it. I'm guilty. So I get where they're coming from, D. Great. But it's awful strange that this is the book on Lamar Jackson. And here's the crazy thing. Lamar Jackson is a year younger than Joe Burrow. I'm going to say that again. Lamar Jackson was born the year after the dude who just won a national championship. So, you telling me Joe Burrow is going to hit the ground running? Hell no, because the league don't work like that. It does not work like that. So, miss me with that bullshit, man. That's why he getting all the smoke, be great. And, hey, I respect you for sticking up for him. And I'm a, that's why I say I'm one of them dudes. The bros have been hating on so long. You damn, they got to hate on the white boy. But then, you know what? We got to stop doing that because then we just like them old biased dickheads on TV. Because, look, check this out. Uh, I heard a dude say this. Lamar Jackson got three touchdowns and six interceptions in two playoff games. See? He ain't, you know, he need to get it together. After two playoff games, Peyton Manning had one touchdown, three interceptions. And he was supposed to be a golden child. So how's Lamar worse than the golden child? Because everybody was saying he needs to be a wide receiver. See, that's that bullshit, man. Again, if you agree, disagree, want to participate in the show, I'll let your boy 773. 797-2409. 773-797-2409. This is what I'm talking about. This is why cats like me and cats like others, they be hating on the boy. But I ain't hating on because I like the players more than the team. Of course, if you ask me who I root for, I root for the Chicago Bears. And my favorite team on earth is the Oakland Raiders, soon to be the Las Vegas Raiders. But I like Patrick Mahomes. But this is what I'm saying, uh, uh, D. Great and Chuck and whoever else listening, Chuck in the uh, chat room, chopping it up with me. This is what I'm saying. I woke up yesterday morning. As a Oakland Raider fan, my the team that my the P Oakland Raiders hate nobody more than they hate the Chiefs. 
I was cheering for Patrick Mahomes. I heard this jackass Nick Wright get through talking about, you know, he was ball washing him. Boy, I hate to call back in. Hush on up, hush on up, hush on up. Sports and tracking heels. But uh, Nick Wright get through ball washing Mahomes, and I was damn near hating on him, man. It's like, come on, Nick Wright. Stop it, man. Cut it out, Nick Wright. Ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. But that's the type of guy that'll make you not like a player. And that's why people be hating on your boy uh, 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 Trevor Lawrence. And that's why a lot of other dudes get hated on. So I, I'm trying to get better at that, but I, I be hating too. Now, when it comes to some of this stuff, you, 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 you hate by default, man. You get sucked up into the negativity, and now you can turn into a, a root. So we're going to put the anti root spray on for now, and we're going to go forward, man. But like I said, man, this weekend is going should be a good situation. I don't want the 49ers to win. I, I want, I'm a nostalgic kind of guy. This 100 years in the NFL. Uh, it's 50 years since the merger in 1970. I'm on some nostalgic shit. Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes versus Aaron Rodgers. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs winning the championship. Aaron Rodgers walk off because, by the way, uh, I kept hearing all day and all, all today and all yesterday. This is the greatest upset in the history of the game. The Ravens lost. Yeah? What about Aaron Rodgers won league MVP and was 15 and the one? The Giants boat raced their ass. Beat their ass by a billion to one. Oh, but was that the blueprint to beat Aaron Rodgers? Was that the blueprint then? No, that wasn't the blueprint. They just lost. See, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. It's, it was just the way they are. They just lost. But the, the, the Sean, uh, the Lamar, he ain't gonna get no better. He just, he didn't tap out. Get the fuck out of here, y'all. Stop. That's some bullshit. Get the fuck all the way out of here. That's all right, because that's what? Lamar is hearing all this stuff. Remember, a year ago, y'all was calling the man 30% retired. He can't throw. He came back as league MVP. He's only going to get better. He's only going to get better. I heard people overreact to try the offensive coordinator. No, he's limited. He's limited because he's in his second year. He's only played 24 professional, 25 professional football games. Next season, he's going to be better. He's going to be able to read offenses better. I mean, read defenses better. He's going to be able to maneuver the offense better. And hopefully guys like Warren Moon, people like, he already got dick in his ear. Have a cat like Brandon Cunningham go high letter. And it's on, man. I'm not a Raven fan. I'm just a fan of Lamar, <coughs> of uh, uh, Lamar Jackson. I want the boy to win another MVP because he's suck ass dude he's hating on. The next game, of course, I said this earlier, the Tennessee Tuxedos don't stand a chance. King Henry is the man. King Henry is the man. And King Henry, Lamar Jackson, and there's others out there. It's Le King Henry, Lamar Jackson, the boy, uh, what's the white boy name? And with the, uh, uh, the white boy who played for uh, uh, Carolina, Christian McCaffrey. They are proven, the, the little dude who uh, 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 who played for the Eagles, they are letting, me, letting everybody in the National Football League know these scouts don't know shit. Because the dude in Philadelphia, somebody, Scott, he was too small to play. Uh, Lamar was supposed to be a wide receiver. King Henry was too big. The white boy, uh, Christian McCaffrey, he was too white. And all of them, they was wrong on all accounts. These dudes kicking ass and taking name in the league. So guess what? NFL, miss me with your racist, racist tendencies and give me some go head on with that bullshit. How about that? I'm going to need all the scouts that said Lamar wasn't on nothing to grab the nearest chair, go to the nearest corner, look at the corner, start bending over and sit your ass down. Sit your ass down. Because it's clear that y'all don't know what the fuck y'all talking about as you. Lamar can't make it. Just think about how many brothers have had their careers and their dreams crushed because these dudes want to keep status quo. How many brothers and others have been cheated out of opportunities because you're not big enough? You too short. You too tall. You too left. You too right. You too up. You too down. If you can play football, come play football. Now, all week, all I've been hearing is this quarterback this and this quarterback that. Here are, uh, I am finna, even though I don't have nine, this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
This is the seven best quarterbacks in the National Football. Dakota Rain Prescott is number seven. You are going to see outstanding things from Dak Prescott because